Hey, hi. So, the uh, new character in Soul Calibur 6 came out, um, which is Cassandra. Um, pretty hyped. Um, I'm more or less going to be doing the story on this one. Um, if you guys want, I guess, to see, I guess, a little more of the playstyle or anything else of this character, just let me know in the comments below. Um, I will go ahead and let you know that it is going to be a little bit different just because I'm doing this on PlayStation and I originally did all the, I originally did the whole story on the Xbox, but um, for some weird reason, even though I own Cassandra on Xbox, it's not registering that I own it at the same time in a weird way. And um, so I just went ahead and just uh, went over to PlayStation since I knew I had it on there. And I just recorded it over there. But, um, yeah, with that being said, uh, here's the story, and yeah, here you go. <laughs> it's mostly fixed up. I never thought you'd be asking me to repair divine weaponry, though. Wow, look at this. No wonder you're the best smith around. The sword's perfect. The shield's great, too. But the belt grip feels a bit off. Got it. I'll admit I'm surprised. If these are Sophie's old arms, that means they're divine relics crafted by the god of the forge himself. They shouldn't be this beat up just from wind and rain. You really believe Sophitia about the Oracle and Soul Edge? You don't think she made the whole story up? Uh, no. I'm a smith, right? I know all the myths about Hephaestus. And the quality of these arms... Well, they're definitely not normal. Uh, whatever. Now come on, get back to work. Hmm, very nice. Now let's see if they work right. I guess you're close enough to Sophie's size to test them, but if you're returning them to the shrine, do you really need to? Well, what if she wants to use them when she gets back? Come on, pick up something and fight me, Rathion. Ooh, this place looks perfect for a good scuffle. Are you sure about this? Sophia will kill me if I hurt you. Let's make a deal. If I win, you have to tell me if Solage has been resurrected. <gasps> How did you... So Sis left on a journey to destroy the resurrected Soul Edge? Yes. I made her a new set of arms with the Iron of the Gods that Hephaestus gave us. That's why that sword and shield were still in the shrine. Ugh! I'm so mad right now. Sorry for keeping it from you, but I didn't think it would be right for me to explain her absence to you and the others. That's not why I'm mad at all. I'm mad because you two were supposed to get married and be happy. Instead, she's off saving the world. What about her happiness and yours? Why didn't you stop her? She would have listened to you. I couldn't bring myself to. Why not? I hate it when people hide things, so I'm gonna be blunt. I don't think I can stomach Sis marrying you right now. I can't be happy for you two. Cassandra, it hurts me to hear you say that. Still, I have no regrets. I believe in Sophie, and I won't betray the faith I've placed in her. Yeah, so you're fine with whatever happens to her in the future? To all of us? Well, I'm not. Not at all. I wish she'd never picked up this stupid sword. I really, I really messed, messed up. up. I 
thought I might find you here, Cassandra. What gives? As our shop's poster girl, he can't just wander off. I'm pretty sure a poster girl shouldn't punch customers either, but here we are. Maybe you should take over and be our poster boy. You've already got tons of girls coming to see you. This isn't like you. You've hit people before. Besides, that sleazy guy had it coming. Everyone applauded when you smacked him. Apparently, he's made a name hitting on girls at other shops, too. It's hard to explain, but I've been a mess lately. I feel all pent up and irritable. I think I would have normally held back a little more. You shouldn't worry so much. You know, there are lots of guys who'd kill for a chance to get slapped by you. Really? I guess that's nice. Wait, what? That's gross! Yeah, it is gross. Just like your bread lately, you have this urgency about you, like you have to knead quick and bake faster. I want to see you make your usual bread, all innovative and adventurous. You really love bread, don't you? What are you trying to say? I guess if you have something you want to do, you should just go and do it. Be impulsive, like always. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. All right, I've decided. I'm leaving home for a while. Great. Oh, just make sure to tell Mom. I'll help you come up with an excuse if you want. Yeah, I don't want her getting sick again. Don't worry, I'll come up with something. I'm good at that sort of thing. This is the place. So monsters are attacking people in these woods? This place does look like bad guys are ready to pop out at any time. If they're tied to the Cursed Sword, then I'll deal with them. Hephaestus, lend me some of your strength! I think I just do this? There, they seem purified. Good. <sighs> what have we done? Why? Why did you save us? Don't be an idiot. <clears throat> no matter how hard it is, life is always better than death. If you think you've done something evil, then go do some good to make up for it. Yeah, you're right. You seem to knock some sense back into me. Thank you. If it helps, I'd be happy to smack you again. So, uh, good luck, I guess. We've been walking for forever. You're sure there are malfested out here? I am. Just a bit further is the underground temple my family was taken to. And, well, these people are savage bad men. Please be careful. Weird. Weird. Why, would Why would someone, someone like, like that, that kidnap, kidnap people? people? I, guess I guess turning, turning, turning into, into a malfested, malfested makes you do strange, strange things? things? Um, is 
Is this really the right place? I don't see anyone around. It is. But... Well, the truth is... You have to run! This is a trap! Huh? Ah! How many are there? Are these malfested? Uh, it's all over. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, don't give up so fast. Me and my sword will handle these thugs. <laughs> You think we are malfested? You have been deceived, girl. Lured to your doom. So you guys are just normal people? Do not insult us. We are Fiegel Systemus, servants of the great executioner of Pangea. Well, good for you. So what do you want? Do not pretend to have forgotten interfere with our holy rituals time and time again. Curse you, Sophitia Alexandra! What? Oh, I get it. You're angry at Sis, so you set up this little trap. Aren't you ashamed ganging up on one girl? You're trapped. But still you take that insolent tone. You'll receive no mercy. No mercy? That's my lie. I'll make you pay a hundred times over for targeting my sister. Fight. You think you have the advantage? <laughs> Bring it on! Go down! Yeah. I just have to deal with these reptiles. My sword's light won't scare them, but how about this? Athena, god of war. Aeolus, god of the wind. Lend me your strength. No way. I didn't know I could call up so much power. It's time for us to go. Shut up and go. You'll be buried alive if you don't run. Uh, okay. Why did you help them if your family wasn't abducted? They uh, said they'd give me a fortune if I led you into their trap. They even paid some in advance. You think it's okay to betray someone just for money? I'm sorry. But I was desperate. I have a younger sister who's counting on me. Our dad turned into a Malfested, and she's the only family I got left. Didn't you think that maybe the person you were tricking also had a family? 
You can't find happiness by pushing your misfortune onto others. You're right. Every moment I spent lying to you was torture. If you want to do right by your sister, don't deceive people or stain your hands with evil. You've got no talent for it. <laughs> the rumors about you were right. You're a true holy warrior, Sophidia. I'll do my best to live a life that both my sister and you can be proud of. A true holy warrior? I bet Sis could have done a way better job than me. It's, it's not, not just, just the Malfested that are after Sophitia. This, this world, world is filled, filled with evil, evil things, things. And, and I've, I've got, got to stand, to stand against, against them. them. Sis. Why, Why did you, did you leave on a dangerous journey, journey when, when happiness, happiness was within, within your grasp? grasp? Lately, it feels like I don't understand Sis at all. And how can Rothian be all fine, even with her running off like that? Hmm. I'm surprised you're so worried about Sophie, Cassandra. Oh, wait. I think I get it. <laughs> What's so funny? You remember how you tried to imitate Sophie when you were little? Not just her hair or the way she looked. You even tried to copy the way she spoke. Uh, well, it wasn't really me, but I figured I should try to be more like her if I wanted to be our bakery's poster girl. And remember that young adventurer who drew a picture of you? He even wrote that poem. Oh, how did it go? Something like, Oh, Cassandra, thou art fairer than even Aphrodite. Stop right there. You shouldn't even joke about that. Are you trying to get me in trouble with the gods? <laughs> I remember you told Sophie that story all the time when we were younger. Cassandra, you've always cared deeply for Sophie. Then why push yourself so hard to imitate her or get into all those pointless spats? I... If you don't know, why don't you have a serious talk with her? Rye bread and wheat bread are different, both in how they're baked and in what makes them special. Why is everything about bread with you? First of all, I have no idea where she is, so finding her is impossible. And if she found out I took her weapons, she'd kill me. Hey, do you remember Irene? Uh, about my age, lives in that manor on top of the hill? She said she saw someone that looked just like Sophie in Thessalonica. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? Wait a sec. Does anyone else know about this? No, I know you've been moping, so I thought I'd tell you first. And I made Irene promise to keep it our little secret, too. So I'm sure she hasn't told anyone else. How can you be so nonchalant about all of this? Still, I guess the rest is up to me now. Thank you, Lucius. He's, He's right. right. I always I looked, looked up to Sis and, and spent my life chasing after her. I still, I still would be, too, too had I never learned her secrets. secrets. I'm, I'm sure of it. But I can't keep living my life this way. I have to change. Great Hephaestus, it is thanks to you that I return safely to my home. I offer my gratitude for the many blessings I received during my journey. I've longed to see you. That sword and shield. I knew it was you who took them. Please, tell me what happened. I will. There's a lot I want you to tell me. And a lot I want to ask you too. But before we talk, I want you to fight me. For the sake of those dear to me and those who place their trust in me, I have to become stronger than a true holy warrior. I must do this. I shouldn't do this, but I'm sure you have your reasons. Very well. Battle me with all your might, Cassandra. I will see the strength of your resolve. Battle one. Fight! Yeah. I'll finally show that you and I are different. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You too have been favored by the gods. Battle two. Fight! Cassandra, I sense confusion and desperation in your sword. I'll beat you, sis. So that I can fight in your place. Cassandra, there's no one that can replace you. So don't force yourself to replace me. Strong like you, sis. Just like you were back then. I can tell there's something you want to protect, no matter what. have it in me to be a holy warrior. I can't fight you with everything I have, sis. How can you fight without hesitation? Why did you abandon your happiness and those you care for and go on that dangerous quest? You could have let someone else deal with Soul Edge and save the world. Cassandra, you... Has it been since I've seen you cry like this? I don't want to fight you. I don't want you to die. I don't want to see those I care about be sad. Whatever you went through, it must have been terrible. But it's okay now. No matter what happens, I'll protect you. That's not how it's supposed to be. I want to protect you. I want to make you happy. Cassandra, thank you. But I think you've misunderstood something about me. I'm filled with doubt. But when I fight, it's always for the safety and happiness of those I love. On this journey, I purified a land and people corrupted by evil. I did just what you said. I let someone else deal with Soul Edge. My happiness comes from saving people who are suffering and in need. I want to protect the people of this world, the families they hold dear, and their happiness. I want to share the joy you and Rathion have given me. Do you think I'm selfish? Yes. You always have been, sis. It's not fair. Now that you've told me those things, I can't try to stop you anymore. <laughs> Listen. Weapons dedicated to the gods become unfit for mortal hands. That sword and shield were probably too strong for you to wield. So no using them anymore. Okay. I'm sorry. 
On my way home, I met some of the people who gave you jobs. Oh, what did they say? They all smiled at your name and were extremely grateful. It made me realize you're already a true holy warrior. Oh, sis. Now come on, let's go home. I can't wait to see everyone. <laughs> everyone? Or just your darling Rathion? Uh, Cassandra, don't tease me! Congratulations! You don't know how happy it makes all of us to see that blissful smile! <laughs> Thank you, Zenon. I hope to see you at the bakery again soon. I'm glad I lived long enough to see you two get happily married. Thank you for everything, Master Nikos. Please, take care of yourself. Sophie looks really happy, huh? Yeah, that was such a lovely wedding. I'm so happy for her. I expected Mom to cry, but I've never seen Dad sob like that. Really? He started blubbering when you were born. Don't you remember? No, how could I? And you were only two or three. How would you know? Because I remember most of the happiest moments in my life. Hmm. Well, I only remember stuff about bread anyway. Oh, it looks like everyone's finished. It's time, Cassandra. Okay, okay. Don't push me. Thank you for today, Cassandra. I was so nervous, and having you around helped me get through it. <laughs> You're very welcome. And congratulations, sis. Rathion, I guess you're my brother now. So, about what I said to you that day. Oh, that. I couldn't bring myself to. Why not? I hate it when people hide things, so I'm gonna be blunt. I don't think I can stomach sis marrying you right now. I can't be happy for you two. I'm sorry for saying such mean things. And I'm really happy for you two right now. Honest. I believe you. And I'm really glad you're happy for us. It turns out I don't have it in me to stop Sophitia either. So if anything else ever happens, let's work together to help her. <laughs> I wonder if the two of us will be enough. Regardless, thank you, Cassandra. Sis has, has brought, brought us, us all happiness. happiness. And I'm sure there's even more to come. And if my selfish sister is going to keep trying to save everyone, then Rathion and I will do our best to protect her. So, Cassandra, we actually have something important we'd like to ask you. You do? What's with the sudden seriousness? When we have a child, we want you to be the one to name it. Rathion and I discussed it already. If it wasn't for you, we'd have never gotten married. Wait, really? I mean, are you sure you want to entrust something so important to me? Of course. Right, Sophie? That's right, my dear. Wow. In that case, I'll have to think really hard about it. Hmm. Maybe a name from the story Sis used to tell me when we were little. A name that says no matter how hard things get, they'll be tough enough to see it through. If it's a boy, maybe Ducalion. If it's a girl... When an unbreakable soul transcends history and the world, it can bind together even a broken destiny and carve a new future. As the daughter of a baker in Athens, Cassandra worked hard in order to support her mother, who had fallen ill from anxiety. Three years had passed since her older sister, Sophitia, returned from her holy quest to destroy the cursed sword. But one day, with her wedding drawing near, Sophitia once again vanished, leaving only a note behind. 
Cassandra was content to look after her troubled mother, who was quite close with her errant oldest daughter, until she realized why Sophitia disappeared so suddenly. I hope Mom gets better soon. And I can't believe Dad. He should worry more about her. And the only thing on Lucius's mind is bread, bread, bread. Oh. Hey, if it isn't Cassandra. Congratulations on Sophia's upcoming wedding. When's she getting back? Good morning to you too, Xenon. I'm still not sure, but she'll likely be gone for a while this time, since she won't be able to wander off anymore once she's married. That's true, huh? It's just like her to get her head filled with stories of adventure and take off. I bet that fiancé of hers, Rothion, is worried sick. Not really, actually. The only ones who ever worry about her are me and Mom. And it's not like I could ever take her place. You think so? From my perspective, you both know how to get a job done. Anyway, keep up the good work. I will. Thanks. Seriously, why did she have to run off again? It's a headache trying to come up with excuses for why she's gone. Still. What do you mean there's still a cursed sword fragment near her heart? Why? How am I supposed to explain that? Sis? My chest. Sis? Are you okay? Uh, so many lives lost. Solich? It all has to be related. But who would even believe it? A god told her to go on a quest to destroy the cursed sword Solich. Ha, huh, right. Still. If she left to destroy Soul Edge, I bet she needed a weapon. Which means... Half convinced her theory is correct, Cassandra sets off at a run. Her destination, the ancient ruins of the Shrine of Eurydice. It was there that Sophitia, after her battle with the Cursed Sword, had returned the Holy Sword and Shield entrusted to her by the gods. sure they'd be gone these are definitely hers maybe they're fakes hmm they don't feel like fakes huh What in the world is that? Where... where am I? This time... A swordswoman? <sighs> what are you... you don't seem very friendly. Well... Protect my family. Save my sister. What are you mumbling? If you want to fight me, I'll take you. Come on. Need to move. Must kill enemy.
daughter of Akalos, Cassandra. Can you hear me? What do you want? I'm kind of busy right now. Then accept the blessing of the God of the Forge, and you shall be granted strength to defy chaos. Enough talking. If you're gonna give me power, just do it. <gasps> I feel so light. I've never used a sword before, but I'll give this fight my all. Ah, uh, uh, that light. Uh, sister. seems to be working. Is that God's power really this weak? Uh, or maybe... Maybe you're just pushing yourself a little too hard. You, sis, you're, sis, all, you're fighting all fighting with everything, with everything you've, you've got. got. Divine, Divine blessing or not, no, no one's, one's gonna, gonna fight my battles, battles for me. It doesn't matter what, what weapon, weapon I've got. got. In the, the end, end, I'm the, the one who has, has to wield it. it. Whatever happens, I have to fight. Whether you go down or not, I'm in this to the end. I've never lost to anyone in a battle of endurance. Swordswoman, who looked exactly like Cassandra, began to speak hesitantly of Sophitia and about a prophecy of a future dark and cruel. Sophitia's child will be born with a great darkness inside and will be abducted by the cursed sword's malfested kin to become Soul Edge's vessel. The child will become unable to live without the sword's evil, causing Sophitia to remove the fragment of the cursed sword inside her and use it to save her child. Cassandra, more than anyone, understood what this prophecy meant. Sophitia had a fragment of the cursed sword inside her, a 
secret Cassandra never revealed to her family, Rothian, or even Sophitia herself. There's only one fragment left inside Sis, and it's buried close to her heart. If she ever removes it, she'll... <gasps> hey, how do you know all this? Who are you? I don't know anymore. All this time, I... Sis... I see. <sighs> the God of the Forge. Hephaestus, was it? Did all of that really happen? I guess he's not answering because I got his sacred weapons all beat up. Sis left her sword and shield here. But she's still out there fighting, and she's gonna keep fighting. I don't believe everything I heard, but I'll do my best, too. <sighs> All right. If Sis is out there fighting, she must have a weapon that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the cursed sword. And I only know one blacksmith around here good enough to make a powerful weapon like that.